Yo, what up YouTube, it's Rain. The ma 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 mask. Uh, sorry about this video because I can't find the um, my tripod. So I'm going to have to do this by hand. But anyway, um, it's been a while. I did say I was going to do this review ages ago and actually, it actually slipped my mind. But here it is. So, these are the Jordan 3 Retro. Now, these are dubbed the Cyber Monday 3s. The irony is, don't watch my sombrero. <laughs> the irony is, is that Cyber Monday is the Monday after Black Friday, if I got that right, um, and that hasn't come yet. So Nike have obviously released them early. So here they are. So boom. Originally, when I saw them, I wasn't too keen. I was in two minds. I'm in two minds about a lot of trainers, and then what I, I, I get them and I'm like oh shit yeah yeah I'm, I'm keeping these but these I was in two minds about because I thought they were quite a simple and plain trainer um, simple and plain from the point of it's literally just a black and white trainer um, and I got the Cyber Monday ones and I haven't even worn them yet but I think they're heavy anyway so the whole hoo-ha about these is that apparently the, the leather at the top was supposed to be a different kind of quality leather that the Jordan brand has not used historically potentially how true it is we're about to find out um, and then you got the whole thing of Jordan brand have not released a three since those grey and silver ones I think I'm sure I can't remember when they came out but anyway anyway so let's, let's get into this I'm talking shit so the leather it is a very decent leather a very decent cut of um, leather. I'm not gonna say that it's it's definitely not the level of shattered backboard quality, and it's definitely not the level of um, the shattered backboard away quality. Um, but it is a high quality leather. Now, I've got a shoe tree in that, so you might not be able to make that. Bollocks, focus your bitch. There you go. Does that work? yes it does so you can just make out the actual cut in regards to the sharpness of the cut isn't that great you can see a little bit of um they're not threads it's just how the level is just kind of coming up but in in essence when you're wearing those man ain't gonna see that right man ain't gonna be that right like, oh man you, you, your crap's a bit mad no shut up get out of it but um you know what it's a black and white three I'm, I'm trying to egg it out i'm trying to talk more about the trainer than it is it's a black and white jordan three if black and white is your color these are you if you are a jordan three fan these are you if this is your first venture into jordan trainers where have you been but again these would be you it's just a very very clean trainer no frills it's black and white pardon pardon sorry but the leather is decent the midsole some of the pairs have had issues or quality issues with the um the actual paintwork this pair came in clean i actually ordered two because initially the postcodes weren't working and then they started working so i got a 20 percent discount on these um so you popped out stars there um the only issue is with these with the white sole you wear them a couple times uh, and it's going to be a bit of a mad one in regards to cleaning them but yeah it's a good trainer if you haven't got them i reckon you should get them they're probably still on nike or they're in nike stores if you can't get them in nike you definitely have to go to Foot Locker because nike are doing some madness where they, they've got trainers in the shops no they release them then they take them down they they release they remove them from the website and all sorts it's crazy but anyway rain the mask signing out sorry about the handheld video but here we go that's how you do it sometimes rain the mask Signing out. See ya!